You may have recently noticed someone next to you at a bar or restaurant smoking an electronic cigarette. NBC 15's Chrissy Diamond explains how that could soon be a sight of the past in Madison. Well, tomorrow night, Madison City Council members will vote on a resolution that would add electronic cigarettes to the smoking ban, meaning they'd fall under the same rules traditional cigarettes do. I just feel a lot more energetic. I feel um, healthier. After six years of smoking traditional cigarettes, Aiden Rickle made the switch from tobacco to vapor. He's now co-owner of Mad Vapor on the city's west side. I mean, I get thanked a lot, which is, it makes me feel good. And, you know, I, I help people that have been smoking for 30, 40, 50, I think the longest somebody has been smoking for like 75 years. But as e-cigs popularity rises, so does the uncertainty about their long-term effects. While we can say that electronic cigarettes may be safer than traditional cigarettes or burned tobacco, we cannot at this point say that they're safe. That's why Alder Lauren Kinnear is sponsoring a city ordinance to include e-cigarettes in the same category as cigarettes and other tobacco products. Potentially we could find out these devices are completely safe and we would change the ordinance. Or we may find, as we did with cigarettes over the decades, whoa, those are really bad for not only you but the person next to you. The ordinance would prohibit the use of e-cigs inside public places like bars, restaurants, and most stores, just like the current smoking ban. We do know that our Indoor Clean Air Act, which is really the no smoking ban, has worked incredibly well for people. We know that our restaurants are back in business, our bars are back in business. People are grateful to have the choice to have clean air. The ordinance includes an exception for vaping stores where you would be allowed to use an e-cig indoors. We're not banning the product, we're not banning the use of the product in any way. So their business should, quite frankly, continue as is. And Rickle says, for the most part, he agrees with that. I don't really hear very many people that come in here saying, like, oh, I'm so excited I can go use this in a bar. You know, I don't really hear that. You know, I hear people, oh, yeah, I'm excited I don't have to go stand outside at my house. Otherwise, I don't really think uh, it'll affect us that much. Now, Alder Kinnear tells me she expects this resolution to pass at tomorrow's city council meeting. And that's because 12 alders have already co-sponsored the resolution. And it only takes 11 alders to pass. Now, if it does pass tomorrow, it'll likely go into effect in the next few weeks.